Okay, so this is part 9 of my forum series. Um, in the last video, what we did is we started our view topic page itself. Um, and notice that if you watched the last video, notice that it says good here now. And that is because, like I said in the last video, is <clears throat> I was going to add all the information to the database about uh, for the first post. So we have everything inserted here. And if I click on edit, uh, notice that we have just bunch of text in here, we have some extra lines, new spacings, and we have BB code styles in. So eventually we're going to have, uh, the forum is going to have BB code um, implemented. So that's going to be um, a really nice feature that a lot of people want to know how to make and and things like that. Um, later on we'll have other, other, co uh, other BB codes, but for right now these are just some simple ones. Uh, once we have these ones in, I will definitely be adding a lot more and show how to add whatever ones you want to do whatever you want so that'll be nice we have all the information inserted and I actually just put in a random time and the date is the same as the date that it was created um, so if we go back to here we can get rid of this echo statement in here and we need to put in a while loop like I said in the last video we need to have a while loop here um, okay there we go so our while loop needs to get all the information from the database about each topic, or each post, sorry. So this needs to be row equals mysql underscore fetch underscore sock, and this needs to be dollar sign query. Okay, there we go. So inside of here, we need to get all the information, so post ID, and this is row and ID. Um, for right now, I'm just going to get some, some simple stuff, post content, and this needs to be row content, and then we will have uh, post underscore date, whoops, uh, this needs to be date. And then we'll have time. And then, ooh, a very important one is we need to get the active value. So if it's active or not. So active. And actually, where we have where topic ID equals get ID, we're also going to set. Uh, we're also going to say and active equals dollar sign or equals one so where the active value is set to active then we want to get all that so we don't even need the active value right here um let's see what else do we need uh we'll scroll up go to structure so we're also going to need the user id and username underscore ID, change that to username, that to name, okay, so for now, that's all we're going to get out of the database, um, we're going to put in an echo, and this is going to be post underscore content, um, but before we have our content, what we're going to do is I'm going to have post underscore ID, post underscore user underscore id uh, post underscore user underscore name and then we're going to have a line break and another line break and then we're going to have post content we're actually in here we'll have post date post time so, post date and post time. Uh, yeah, that works. So, for now, that's all we're going to have. And that's just to show that we're getting all the information out of the database. So, right here, we have we have all this text here. But we don't have any of the new lines being displayed. So, obviously, whoops, hit my mic. Um, so, obviously, that's a problem. So, what we're going to do is where we have 
post underscore content. I'm going to take it down here. So dollar sign post underscore content equals NL to BR. So new line to break. And then inside of here, we have post content. Now, the reason I'm putting it in a new variable, because uh, we will be running all of this through, see we have everything being displayed here, um, because we will be running this 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 post content through a function, um, and that will make it so we can have our BB code to work. So yeah, so right now we just have our BB code being displayed, everything's just there, it's, it's kind of nice, it's just our text being displayed, nothing special. Um, but what we need to do is we need to style all of this. So before, what we're going to do is, before we have our query here, I'm going to have the start underscore forum function, and we need the function file, don't we? Um, I don't know if we need the form, the form function, or the function file or not, but we'll find out in a second. So, we need to put this down here, so this needs to be our, um, this needs to be end underscore form. And the code, whatever that, that whatever you want that, that to be, um, and then inside of here we're gonna say start the style, and I guess this will be end the style. So just to show, just to see if that's working, go ahead and upload and refresh. We now have this inside of our curved edges. So what we need to do. Is we need to get our top, our top, um, top area in here. So to do that, if we go to our view cat page, and we go there it is, right here. And I'm actually going to grab the class of forum, right there. I'm gonna take this, and above our while loop, or actually not above our while loop, sorry. Above our query here. I'm going to put this code in here. And then I'm going to scroll down. And before we end the style, I'm going to have an echo. And this echo whoops, is going to be an end div tag. Now, the reason is because we're starting our forum class right there. And we need to get rid of all that. So I'm going to get rid of all of this right here as well. Because um, we don't really need that. And. This is going to be our title. Um, for now, that'll just be our title. Might change that later. Um, yeah, that works. So what we're going to do is re-upload this, and if we refresh, so we have our style being displayed, and we actually have this twice. Okay, so we have all of this here being displayed fairly nicely, and then we have everything down there. So this is going to be essentially the setup of our forum. So we're going to have our forum content is going to be in here. It's going to be all the posts and everything that are going to be in this forum. And then, yeah, so that's, that's what that's going to be for now. And let's see. So the first style, I guess, we're going to apply on our page is going to be inside of this echo right here. So I'm going to put in a div. I'm going to say class equals something. Uh, that'll be named later. And I'm also going to have background, or uh, style, sorry, um, a style. And we're going to set a background color. And this is going to be our color variable. So we're going to grab the code for our color variable. So I'm going to grab that. 
and we're just going to go ahead and post it in here, or paste it in here, sorry, not post it. So we have our color, and we also need to end the div. Okay, so just to make it look a little bit neater, we're going to indent that. So inside of here, where we have our style, uh, the first style I'm going to have is a padding, um, a full padding, I guess, and this will be... I guess 10 pixels. So if we upload our view topic file and refresh, you see we have the pattern kicked over, we have our background being applied a little bit, see so it's just faintly darker. Um, so the, but the main noticeable thing is we have the padding being applied. So that's obviously working and that's how we want it to be. Um, the next thing we're going to do is since this is our forum or this is our, our content here, all of this, all this stuff that's highlighted right now, this is our content. We're going to have this as a two-column layout, so it's going to have our content that was posted, and then on the, on the right side, that's going to have our content, and on the right side, we're going to have kind of information about the user who posted, so we're going to have their avatar image, um, which we'll link off to their profile, how many posts in the forum they have, and just just some small um, some small statistics about uh, about the user who created or posted or the user who posted. Um, so what we need to do is we're going to get rid of this break here, and I'm going to put in a div, and I'm going to say class equals something. Get rid of extra this extra spacing in here, and I'm going to end the div. <coughs> then. I'm going to end, end a div here, and put that on a new line, and, okay, so we have, that being, we have our two divs. Now, what we need to do is, we need to create classes for these divs. So, our first class for our user info, this is going to be... We'll call it user info. So that'll be the class name for that. And the class for this will be post info. So it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. I'm also gonna get rid of all the text in there. And because this is actually gonna be partially in here, um, we're just gonna have some some small stuff in there. So I'm gonna put this in here, put in this line break. So we have these two divs being created. Now Inside of this first div here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in um, the post underscore user underscore name. So that's just going to display it really, and that's to see what it looks like essentially. So uh, I'm going to upload. Oops, I'm going to upload this, and if we refresh. There's not going to be very much change, it just looks like we just added in our username again. And that's because we haven't applied our styles yet. So we're going to do that. So inside of our main.css file, I'm going to scroll down to where we have our forum styles. So we have a um, forum here, and end forum styles is right there. So we're going to have a forum class of user info. And we also need to have our post info class. So we have our two classes created now. What we need to do is we need to go into the styles folder. In the styles folder. And what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to put a background color. And we're going to set our background color to FFF, which is white. And we're going to set a background color on this to EEE, uh, -E -E, which is uh, a really light, gr really light gray color. So if we refresh, you see we have these two different colors. Now, I don't know how well this is going to come up in the video, or show in the video, rather. But we have our white and our gray. You can probably tell the difference between the colors. And that's because uh, there should be a difference. So the first thing we're going to do is on the user info, I'm going to say a min tag. 
height of 100 pixels, and that'll just make it so you can see it a little bit better. So we have it, we have it being seen better now. So what we need to do is we need to float all of our information to different sides. So our user info, we need to float to the right, and our post info, we need to float to the left. And if we upload this, now this will mess up the rest of the page. Uh, you see right here, it messed up the page, um, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, what we need to do is on our view topic file, after we have these two divs, we need to put in our div, our um, class of clear. So we need to clear all that information out. And upload that. And just by adding in that clear, it fixes uh, the problem we just had. So we have our information being floated, um, but now we need to set a width value for each of these two. So our user info is going to have a width of our CSS. We're going to have a width of, say, um, I guess we'll go with 150 pixels for now. And our post info is going to have a width of uh, 400 pixels for now. Now, we're definitely going to change the post info, and I'll show why in a second. Oops. So if we refresh, you see we have this kicked over, and it's pretty small. This is pretty decently sized. I'm actually going to raise it up to 175. <coughs> So we have this being floated and everything. Um, so I'm actually going to stop this video here. Uh, in the next video, we will continue on with our view topic file, and we'll style it up more. And if we're lucky, be able to finish it in this in the next video or the one after that. So uh, I'm ending this video.